I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, September 20th. Actually, a complicated little forecast here as we get into the weekend. No doubt a good soaking rain coming in here late tonight and tomorrow. When does it stop? When does it begin? And then we've got potential now for another rain event by the middle of next week that's uh, just showing up in all the models. So a lot to talk about. Let's go in there and uh, take a look this morning at the big picture around the nation. Clearly, rain is on the way. Got a, a nice trough coming in from the west. Rain all the way from Texas up to the Great Lakes this morning. Thought we'd uh, peek at the uh, radar. Uh, this was captured uh, early this morning about 5.30. And uh, you can see that the uh, rain on the radar is currently over Arkansas, around Little Rock. The rain uh, nearing the Mississippi Delta. And we're just going to watch radar trends. And after a while, you quit looking at model data. You look at the actual observations. But again, the big question is going to be, when does that rain start? When does it stop for all the football games? Uh, temperatures this morning, nice and cool behind that uh, trough. Cold in Wyoming and Montana. And uh, we'll turn a little cooler uh, Sunday and Monday with uh, clearly you know colder nights. We'll get down in the 50s here. i uh, got flash flood watches in effect for parts of Texas. Frost and freeze warnings in effect for parts of the northern states. Severe weather possibilities today, a small slight risk up around Detroit. And tomorrow as the front comes in here, no risk of severe weather. Although there could be a strong storm, especially over South Alabama, maybe tomorrow afternoon. And boy, look at this. All of a sudden, the guys at uh, WPC really ramp up the rain here for the Deep South. This is showing a bullseye of almost five inches over central Mississippi and rain amounts of three to four inches over West Alabama with lighter amounts to the east. And the deal is we've got the event tonight and tomorrow and then now potential for another event around the middle of next week all of a sudden that's showing up. And that's the reason for those higher numbers. And again, we'll take a look, look at modeling in detail here. Tropical weather, a little uh, system east of the Bahamas, not expected to develop. And boy, the thing down there in the southwestern Gulf has just been a mystery. Uh, it is not developed, having a hard time. Uh, and obviously nothing going on down there this morning, but... Uh, still, it's something to be watched because look at this now. The models are moving this thing to the northeast up toward Mexico, but then some of the models want to bend it back northeast. And the global models, uh, the uh, you know the GFS, it's kind of doing the same thing, and it could very well affect us by the middle of next week. Here's a look at the uh, INSEP uh, ensembles. Very similar idea, kind of parallels the coast of Mexico and Texas on the curved northeast. So... Um, it will be interesting to watch, but really none of the models develop this thing into a tropical storm except one. That's an outlier. All the models keep this thing kind of disorganized, but, you know, we all know that disorganized tropical waves can produce a lot of rain. So let's get in there and dig and take a look and see if we can answer your questions. This is the uh, GFS, the OZ run valid at uh, uh, today. And this is actually this evening uh, at 7 o'clock local time. There's your trough. We'll go down below that. This is 1 o'clock this afternoon. Cold front from uh, near Chicago down to Oklahoma City down to uh, Midland, Texas. Really heavy rains falling west of the state. This is just after midnight, 1 a.m. The GFS moves the rain into northwest Alabama. If the GFS is right, the high school games will not be bothered by rain, but other models are faster. You'll see in just a moment. This is Saturday, uh, tomorrow afternoon, 1 o'clock. Going to be a soaker of a rain event here late tonight, tomorrow morning. I mean, a good soaking. Rain amounts of at least 1 inch. Some spots could see 2 inches. And now, this is 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Um, and the rain is basically to the south and east of Birmingham. Uh, this is good news for Alabama fans, but not good news for Auburn fans because you can see how the uh, GFS wants to kind of develop a wave on that front with a big rain event coming into Baton Rouge. So uh, the, the confidence is relatively high that the Alabama game will be dry, but the Auburn game could be wet. Let's go to the uh, high-res NAM. This is uh, 7 o'clock this evening, and it's a lot faster with the rain. It's, it's got showers breaking out over parts of north and west Alabama. And if you buy this solution, we better mention some chance of uh, showers for the high school football game. Still, the heavier rains west of here. But uh, th this would warrant the mention of a few showers as early as 6 or 7 o'clock this evening. All right, this is tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. And again, it's pretty similar to the GFS in terms of the end of the rain. It's got the rain basically uh, south and east of Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. So for the tailgaters in Tuscaloosa, tomorrow morning just looks like a soaker. 
and the rain should be ending at some point early tomorrow afternoon, maybe in the 1 to 3 o'clock time frame. Uh, and again, that game begins at 6 o'clock, so we're very confident the rain will be over in plenty of time for the game in Tuscaloosa, but tailgaters, especially tomorrow morning, will be soaked. Uh, let's go to 7 o'clock. This is uh, right about uh, game time. Again, Tuscaloosa, I think, will be fine, but LSU, the uh, Baton Rouge area, that looks awfully wet. And we're certainly going to you know, stick the chance of rain in there for the Auburn game. One more model to show you. and we uh, So much going on here. This is the uh, high-res uh, RPM model. Uh, 8 o'clock this evening. It's got most of Alabama dry. And I really think most of the high school stadiums will be okay tonight. Uh, but it, West Alabama, somebody over there might catch a shower. Uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's a nice-looking line of storms coming in here. Uh, we could see some definitely some thunder involved here, some noisy early morning storms and this is two o'clock tomorrow afternoon the uh, rain is basically along and south of interstate 59 and then seven o'clock tomorrow evening again uh, tuscaloosa looks fine baton rouge looks really wet with that solution it's got some pretty decent rain coming through there so uh, after all of this we're, we're gonna in terms of football uh, for the alabama game no rain but tailgaters to tuscaloosa will be soaked tomorrow morning for the Auburn game in Baton Rouge, we're going to mention a chance of rain. I think we have to. You know, we tried to pull it out for a brief moment. I hate to flip-flop, but we got to put it back in. And uh, UAB's got a home game uh, at uh, 2 o'clock at Legion Field. And uh, the rain should be ending at about that time. So there could be some rain maybe for the first quarter or something, but the rest of the game should be dry. All right, let's press on. Here's Sunday. Sunday should be fine. Beautiful day, high around 80. We start the day in the 50s. It'll feel good. But look at that surface low south of the Louisiana coast. All right, Monday, the GFS brings that thing up uh, toward uh, uh, Lake Charles on Monday. Uh, Mobile getting wet. We're still dry. But Tuesday, look what happens. That wave just blows through here, and it, and it rains on us on Tuesday. So the GFS is suggesting a rain event for Tuesday of next week, and then Wednesday, it's, it's gone. But look at the uh, Canadian, just for model madness it's got a, a tropical storm down there to the south of Apalachicola and we, we discount the we discount this solution but clearly we're going to need to mention a chance of rain on Tuesday maybe into Wednesday and here's Thursday back to the GFS we're dry week from today upper high over the Carolinas nice trough up north and that looks fairly dry we'll check the end of the forecast this is October 5th hey uh, ridge out west troughing over the east and look at the cool air coming down the pike that's a 1030 millibar high and that's going to be very cool and very crisp if that happens to be correct that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes in the blog uh, i will be traveling to atlanta so uh, no video this afternoon but a lot of notes on the blog and uh, brian peters picks up the updates uh, tomorrow and sunday by video thanks for watching have a wonderful weekend and god bless